God's forgiveness is the fruit of the work of Christ who paid the debt for our sins on the cross so that we can be justified no matter what good deeds we do. Hello and welcome to another video. Past couple of days I've been waking up with a heart full of gratitude. I kid you not, just the sun being out, the energy feeling so light. I literally, like past couple of days, have been going into prayer just saying thank you God for the sun. Something about the energy has been so uplifting to the spirit. Always go into prayer with a thankful heart before you start talking to the Most High. Remember, in a blink of an eye, these things we take for granted can be taken from us. So always, always, always be thankful. Now, on to the message. I want to give a quick shout out to my very judgmental, perfect people in the world. I'm making this quick video for you. You know, I came across some comments that were left on a post. It was a little quick video, a woman who's in the public eye, she made a video and people left very rude comments under her post. She was sitting in her car, listening to non-Christian music. She was happy, glowing, you know, yes, she has given her life over to the Lord, but she's not perfect. But you can visibly see the positive changes in her life, the growth. You know, I don't know her personally, but I am extremely proud of her. But we always have those few quote unquote perfect people who like to comb through other people's content looking for something to call them out on. Half the comments were saying things like, oh, that's not very godlike. I thought you changed. I mean, the list went on. Let me remind my perfect people in the back that throughout the Bible, we see God using imperfect people for the sake of his mission to bring hope to the world. I never quite understood why Jesus chose the individuals he did, but I am guessing his reasoning was to further prove the validity of his being. He didn't call the popular, the rich, or successful to further his ministry, but rather the poor, broken, and faithful. I can only imagine how confused the Pharisees and religious leaders must have been, you know, while they were looking at the team of people and, you know, the, the Savior had gathered together, you know, they were a team of misfits with nothing to lose but everything to gain with God. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. If you ever feel like you aren't worthy enough to be used by God, let alone loved by him, just remember that Jesus used a bunch of flawed people to share hope to a flawed and broken world. In God, we find renewal, mending, and purpose. Jesus didn't call the equipped. He equipped the call. And no matter what you've been through in life, remember that the same power that conquered the grave lives within you. You are worthy of life. You are worthy of God's love. You are worthy of joy. You are worthy of fulfilling purpose that will take you places you never imagined reaching. I want to end the video by saying this. The woman that received so much hate or any woman that receives a lot of hate, you know, God still loves you. God still loves that young woman and he's still using her. You know, just because you guys get in your feelings, want to spread your hate around, God will still work with this person. This person is changing a lot of young women's lives. This woman is bringing a lot of women out of the dark and towards the light. You know, she's showing them that the impossible is possible. You know, what exactly are you guys doing besides sitting back on social media, picking up, picking people apart? What positive changes are you making besides gathering up in your friend groups to speak down on another? You got to do better. A lot of y'all are too old to be moving like that. Move with love. That's it. Have a wonderful day.